So something you should be aware of, though, you probably won't hit this day in and day out, but it is interesting to note, and also it makes you more professional, is covariance and contravariance with delegates. Now, covariance and contravariance is actually a term used in other parts of the C-sharp language, and also in other languages as well. They are general programming terms. But let me just show you them with delegates. So I'm going to make a delegate... Uh, delegate void my delegate and I'm gonna have it take a base B or base 64 formatting options <laughs> I guess if I wanted to take a base I better declare a base so class base and then class derived inherits base alright keep it real simple so we're gonna put base B here now I want you to think about something here I'm gonna if my Visual Studio will keep up with me. Static void um, take derived. And this is going to take a derived argument. And then I'm going to say static void take take base base b. Alright, and then I'm going to say my delegate d gets take derived. Uh, and let's say my delegate, let's call this one D1, this one's going to be D2, isn't it? and we're going to say take a base. Okay? Now notice the presence of a red squiggly here and the presence of no red squiggly here. Obviously, if we're taking a base and the delegate requires a base, if I have a semicolon out here, the, the delegate uh, requires a base, so that's a perfect match there, no problem there. But notice here that D1, take a derived, I'm saying take a derived, I'm, I'm trying to assign it to D1. Now it is possible with D1 to say new derived, alright? So here I'm actually passing a derived, and take derived demands a derived. So this is actually, actually uh, legit as far as this method is concerned. But the reason why the compiler is complaining here is because my delegate only provides a base. It provides something real general, or it requires the caller to send something real general. So I could turn around here and say, here, here's where the real problem is. D1 new base. Now, if the compiler let this happen, happen, uh, take derive, we'd be passing a base where it expects a derive. This method, its signature demands that we pass a derive, but here we're not passing a derive. We're passing a base. Okay. So, so this is where contravariance comes in. Is basically the argument base is not contravariant with derived. All right. Let me um. Let me see if I can do another delegate here. Delegate void my other delegate, and I'm going to have it take a derived D. And then let me just uh, let me clean out main here. I'm going to say my other delegate D1 gets take derived and then control L to cut it paste paste with control V I'm gonna say take a base alright and then we need to name this something else notice no red squigglies anywhere alright my other delegate says well when we invoke my other delegate D1 or D2 I have to pass a derived here I can't pass a new base Okay, or we'll get an error if we try to do that because base is not a derived. A derived is a base, but a base is much more general than a derived, and so, so that's why it's complaining, it's saying, "Hey, you, you, I need something more specific right here, and you're not, you're giving me something general. I need something specific." All right, so that's nice. This delegate declaration, my other delegate, it requires something very specific, and because it requires something very specific, it matches both of these method or satisfies both of these methods um, requirements okay so let's think about that for a minute with D1, D1 pointing to take derived, well this is a perfect match okay so no problems there but when I say D2 is take a base well well my other delegate D2 since take base requires base that's more general than what my other delegate will require. My other delegate D2, when I say D2, I can only pass a derived here. I can't pass a base. I just proved that. 
And so the only thing I can ever say here is new derived or anything that inherits derived. And so there's no way I will pass anything more general than a derived. And a derived is a base. And so the, the restrictions here are actually much more lax than what the delegate's requiring. The delegate's being very strict here, and yet it's pointing to a method that's much more relaxed. So since the compiler knows, well, the only thing we'll ever pass here is a new derived or anything that inherits from derived, then uh, it's satisfied. It's like, well, that's always going to be a base, so yeah, have at it. All right. So the term for this is contravariance. In the next video, I'm going to show you covariance, which is basically the same thing, except it's with return types instead of parameters.